Hey, my name is Ivy Starnes and I'm a gated horse trainer in Fort Worth. And today we're gonna to be talking about different things, different ideas that you can do with your horse in the winter, specifically that don't get your horse sweaty and or don't need a lot of room. Some you can do in a stall or a round pen or an arena or a very small area if that's all you have that's de-iced um, or you put shavings or something down and you just have a small area. Some of the things are gonna be at liberty meaning my horse will be loose in the round pen. And if you can't do this because it's out in the open, please just have the horse in a halter. That's totally fine. I'm just showing you. These are done with my mare, Serenity. Now, she is green in that she's very calm and had lots of clicker training, but had very little actual training. So some all of these things that I'm doing with her, she's never done before. She's done other things, but she's never done these before. So you're seeing the first sessions. And I'm hoping to continue videoing as she gets better so I can show you in a month or two the progress. But right now, these are not perfect. All right, this first one is super beneficial. Let's say you wanna build the top line for your horse or work on more flexibility or even older horse. This is excellent. And this is the exercise of backing up from the ground, all of these are on the ground because I'm not riding yet, backing up on the ground with the head down. Now, lots of horses know how to back up, but how many of them know how to back up with their nose on the ground? This is super beneficial because when they put their head down, they are able to utilize their back and tuck their hind end under them. And it's very beneficial. You're gonna see it with a halter and lead rope and then with a target and you can do both. And I do use food. You don't have to, but if you're not gonna use food, you have to find another way to motivate the horse to do this. And I would encourage you to stop and rest for at least 60 seconds every time the horse does well. And you're gonna see Serenity is not great at this. Like she does it and she's it's a good example for you to see, but it's not like she's really good at it. So in that sense, you're gonna be seeing a green horse and seeing where I would start. So first one is backing with the head down. Okay, so it's very common for horses to be Actually, scared when someone runs up to them. What? I think I put the wrong video in. So, uno momento, I have to do this. Okay. And make sure I put the right video in. Um, like I do have it, and I have it edited. She backs right up. All right. Maybe it is, there you go. Right, this is the right video. So, what we want to do, we actually want the horses to back up with their head low. So I'll be asking, she's eating, but I'll ask her to back up. Good, right there. And if you're using a target, which I can do with her, and I'll show it in a minute, um, you can do without it. But I want, and I don't mind being down low. So if you need to stand up, that's okay. But I'm gonna get down here and I'm gonna ask her to back up, you know, light pressure back. And I'm looking for her to step back. Good girl because we want them to be able to back up with the rider and on the ground with their head down because it has so many, that's nice, benefits for their back. So if you look at their back when their head's down, they lift their back, they lift their shoulders, they, they engage the core more uh, when their head is down. Back up. Good, back. Good, good girl. And so you wanna build uh, as, for building core strength, head down and backing up is really good. And again, I'm not pulling on or hauling her back. I want her to do it nicely. So I'm going to go ahead. Parker, can you throw me the target? So I'm going to use a target and you don't have to use a target, but like if you're doing any target training with your horse, you can use the target um, if they've been trained for it and you can do the same thing. So first we're gonna start the basics. Just head down, no worries, got that down. She's already done target training. So, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it back, but I want her head down. So I'm gonna click, good girl, come on, back up. So she backed, but I want her to back with her head down. So again, at the beginning, we praise anything that's close. And since I haven't done a ton of training with her, especially recently, that there her head went down and she backed up. That was very nice. And so she doesn't have to touch the target, but I want her to see it. So she puts her head down. 
and she, she kind of backed up. She moved over. So I probably shouldn't have clicked there. I did. Oh, well. So I'm not looking for her to come towards me. Here we go back. That has beautiful. And it just builds really good muscle. And you can do it in a stall. You can do it in a barn aisle. You can do it. I mean, obviously, you can do it very slow. So you don't even have to ride. Obviously, we want them to be able to ride and back with their head down. So if you're riding, make that your goal. So head down. So drop your head. There's the target. So there she backed up, which is good. But I'm really looking for that head to drop. And then the backup comes. Come on. Back. Like that. That was better because her head was down. And so that's how you would do it with a target. And you could also do it under saddle as well. But especially on the ground, get this so good that your horse just backs up with their head down. It's so good for their back. And if the winter, if we know anything, it's your time to help get them conditioned. And it's slow, it doesn't get them sweaty, um, and really helps them use that back. Come on. Head down. Head down for backup. Head down. Good. Back up with your head down. No, no, no. Head down. Come on. And it's hard. Some horses have a very difficult time with the head down and the back up. And we want it all the way down to the ground. That's why I want it really done. Now, back. Back. She's like, nope, we're done. And that's fine. We can be done there. But that's a super important exercise you can do with a target or even just with a halter and lead rope. That's good. All right, so that's backing up with the head down. And I've seen a more finished horse that very easily backs up 10, 15, 20 feet. And it's just so beneficial for the horse. And you can do this in a very small area. Uh, and you can practice and get this perfect if you're willing, if you're willing to do it. Zach says, I really like the idea of train of target training for head down. Why has this never occurred to me? I don't know. It's actually one of the, a lot of clicker training people or target training. This is one of the first things they teach. They teach how to the horse to be polite with food and then they teach head down, but you don't want to use the target too much. So you use it and get head down, but then you want to give a specific verbal cue or physical cue for the horse to put their head down and not rely on the target Use the target if you need to, but very quickly transition it to a head down cue that you make up. Um, whether you just use a hand gesture, whether you give a verbal cue, you just basically use that instead. Uh, now, so next, I don't want to take too long. The, I'm going to go ahead and give you a list of what we're going to work on. We're going to do liberty work and training your horse not to go in front of you, which my horse does. So she was a great example. Backing into the hay bale is super beneficial or backing into something. So if you have a stall or something solid, like a solid arena fence, you can train your horse to back into it and it uses the back. And I show up and I explain that. How to train your horse to accept warmer. This is the very beginning of it. So she is not a finished horse at this. Uh, head down work with the lunge line or at liberty and using poles. And she is good without the poles and the poles she's not good. So you're going to see some of her being poopy because she's done. You're going to see, I'm going to train the horse how to smile. You're going to see the very beginning stages of that. Uh, that's our last thing to teach. So now we have liberty. And so when I've had horses that when you're walking or trotting, you know, we're going faster, they like to push their shoulder into you and like they curl in front of you and cut you off. And I, that's not very safe and it's not polite. So, or what we would call polite, it's basically the horse just stepping into your space. So we're gonna, this video shows how, she does pretty well, she does okay when I'm on her left, but she's horrible when I'm on her right. I'm gonna show you a very simple exercise. I don't know that I would do it in a stall, but you could certainly do it in a round pen or a small area. And if you need to put a halter and lead rope on because you don't have an enclosed area, that's fine. But this is a very simple exercise uh, to learn to help your horse be better at liberty. And if I would teach this to every single person because it's been a game changer for me. Okay, so Serenity can do Liberty, but one thing that's a problem is she crashes into me. So she does really well, but she can oh, bring her shoulder in like there. She kind of got in front of me. And so what if you want to fix that? I just started learning this. She's a good case because she started learning it. So we'll see some progress, but she doesn't know it well. So you're seeing a horse that's done it a little. So there, see how she's bending around me? And I don't want her to do that. I want her to step 
more out. So what I'm going to be looking for those front feet is to step away. So I'll be asking her to go forward and away. There, there, her front foot stepped away. And so I clicked and rewarded that. So I walk, she walks with me, and then I want her to think of away rather than curling around me. Good job. And I always feed her out in front. Good job. Come on. Come on. So I'm going to ask her to step away. And now she's kind of going in front, which again is not what I want. So I'm not clicking for that. Good girl to come. Good girl to come. And I want you to walk to step away. Again, like we were asking her to make that inside turn. Like if we were to, I was make a circle to the left and she slowed down and moved around. I want her, there you go, there she stepped away. And so by it, the better, if a horse knows that as soon as you move toward their shoulder, they step away. Again, she's at liberty. <laughs> nice. Then they're going to be much better uh, about not going in front of you because they'll learn to step around. There you go, very nice. That's really good. And then if we can do it while in motion, a little bit there. Now she got a little bit in front of me and I want a reward for her not going in front. Come on. And this can be done in a small area. There, she stepped over really nicely. Good girl. And again, I'm watching her front feet step away from me rather than like curling around me or her walking in front of me which she does, and she's done a lot. I'll go with more in the middle where she's got lots of room. And I want her to go to the outside. <laughs> nice job. So I'm not touching her, and she stepped away. And I just need to, because she's very good about going in front and, and wrapping around like even that, I want to practice way more. I want her so good at this. And you can do it with a halter as well. She just doesn't need one. Good girl. You need some grass? Okay, so let's walk toward the camera. And then I want to step toward her and I want her to, that was, there she didn't step, away. there she did. Good girl. But I didn't click for her just walking in front of me. Good girl. Nice. Good job. So it's my job and let's see about switching sides here. I know, she stepped away. We don't have a cue for switching sides for her, good. She can do it. You can do liberty on both sides and you do leading. You should do this on both sides. Good girl. She's like, oh, gotta check this out. This is the first time she's been in here, so. Good, this side, good. Good job. So I want her to walk and then I'm gonna ask her to kind of, so she's pushing into me. So clearly this direction needs help. She's not stepping to the outside at all. <laughs> she did slow down. So we're looking for her there. She kind of leaned, see how she shifted her weight that direction. And I clicked for that, but she is even, she's not even as good on this side as the other side. She just wants to push that shoulder into me. And so the way to fix that is to teach a horse, good girl, she slowed down nicely to come, to move that body there away. And I'm kind of just walking and looking for that weight shift. Good girl, she shifted her weight again to her right, or her left foot. Good. So in this direction, I mean, you saw really well that she, come on, good job. Good girl, this side, this side. There, good girl, I just wanted, she was thinking the other side. There we go. So walking, and I need her to go this way. So I'm kind of walking into her face. I'm not pushing her, you can see my hands, good. I click was a little slow, I should have clicked a little sooner when she started leaning, but you can see this is her, I've never done this off from her left, her right side, always from her left. And so you can kind of see the beginning, <laughs> she's just walking straight. And you could use a target if you have a, a target for sure, but I want her to kind of go off of my body language and not push that shoulder in, which she wants to do. I'm just gonna kind of walk this way want her to turn this. There you go. Right there. There's that shift and that step. Good job. And right now she doesn't do it while she's moving. She wants to curl around and get in front of me, right? Like you see. 
So what we're gonna do is when she stops, that's when we're going to. Good. Praise her. In the other side, when I'm walking on her, her left side, her on side, she doesn't, she's happy to step away. Like she knows it. In this direction, she just keeps curling around. And so we, there she had a little sideways step and I was late to the click. But, I, but since she stopped, I'm gonna go ahead and ask her to step away. Good, right there. Very nice. And so if you have a horse that's getting in front of you or you're doing liberty with, um, this is my mistake because I didn't realize how important this was, is that what we would call the outside turn. See how she keeps going in front of me? I need her to move there, that's better. She needs to move away as soon as she sees my body language change. I turn my hips and my shoulders, even just a little, not, not this is like extreme, because <laughs> it's the beginning. So normally you just wanted to have a little turn. Good girl. Yeah. And right here we want her to, there, she did turn a little, but she's, she's pushing her shoulder into me. So we'll stop there, we'll come back to this. Um, but you can see uh, on this side, she doesn't respond nearly well. That shoulder pushes into me. The other side, she's better because I've done a little bit of training. So there we saw some Liberty and uh, just kind of going over one of the problems, the common problems is a horse walking in front. Uh, somebody did ask the question, what type of horse is Sereni? She is this Tennessee walking horse standard bred mare. Uh, she does gait, but her preferred is trot. So next one we're gonna do one of my favorites, training the horse to back up and specifically to back up into something, something solid, like a arena wall, I'm using a bale of hay. It's gotta be something solid because they have to be able to lean up against it a little bit. And what we're looking for with this exercise is for the horse to tuck their pelvis, engage their core, and then they, uh, they lift their back. And that can happen all at once. But the goal from that is to move away from using an object and ask the horse to be able to back up and do this exercise without taking a step back, just to be able to lean and tuck and use those muscles. So go ahead and watch their two short sessions and you see she's never done this before. And so I spent a lot of time positioning her at the round bale, which is normal. And if you use a stall, it'll be easier or an arena wall, but all the same principles apply. So for this video, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna clicker train, but I wanna train her to back up and to not back her feet up, but to just back her, to just move her back. Now the easiest way to do this is to have something the horse backs up to. And in this case, we're just gonna use a bale. If you have the stall, you know, it's solid, that, that works really well. So I'm gonna turn her around and I'm doing this in a halter. You can also do this at Liberty. Um, and again, I've never done this with her, so I've never asked her to back up into something. So you have to be Video very patient. So it's against most horses' nature to back into something. So she backs up very well, good girl. But I really want her to try to back up toward it and like touch her butt. Oh, so there, right there, good girl. So she knows that that's behind her. Good job. And so I'm going to reward her backing toward it. So, so right now she's, you know, she's trying everything. She's like, do you want me to step, step towards you? What do you want? So I'm just gonna reload her up, back up toward the hay bale. And again, be really positive and patient because horses, like she knows it's there, but she doesn't wanna back into it. If you have a stall with four walls, it's a little easier. I'm not pulling back. Again, I'm gonna try to keep her lined up. There, that was good. She backed straight toward it. There you go. And be really positive for this part before she even gets to it because a lot of horses don't like, there, see how she leaned back? I clicked because she leaned. So really what I'm looking for, and again, we're looking at the back a lot, is looking for her to lean back and lift the back up. So now she's stepping sideways and forward, which is not what I'm asking. There she stepped back. And I, again, really positive about her doing that. back toward the obstacle and it uh, hay bale is just super easy um, it could be a wall it just has to be solid so that they can lean against it good girl 
And you can do the same thing to train a horse to sit down on hay bales or on piles of shavings. Good girl. So as I'm asking her, you can hear the click. So I'm watching for her to lift her back. Again, it's about leaning back. There you go, just like that. And this is where training a horse to sit down is really fun, is you watch their back. So I'm asking her with really light pressure. Again, now she touched it. There you go. Good girl. And be really positive about when they touch it. And honestly, this could be your first session right here. You could stop. And I'm actually, what I'm gonna do is she had such a good session, I'm gonna walk away. So go ahead and follow me, Parker. I'm just gonna walk her away, like kind of end the session there, cause she backed up to it. Yeah, she wants to keep going. So we're gonna, we're gonna give her a short break cause it's good to always reposition. Um, if you're a young horse, you can stop and, and just walk away and be done. I know, she's like, step towards you. No, no, we wanna back up toward this. She'll get the idea pretty soon as I reposition. No, no, she was, she's got the step towards or like side pass real down really well but this is new for her so you get to see me so she's backing up the wrong way there you go i'm trying to reposition her and she's trying to move toward me so i just keep repositioning it's not about jerking on the lead rope or getting mad it's there you go i want her to stop going away from it there you go see how there she got her body around once she starts to get it it'll be very quick Nope, so there she's stepping away. So might be uh, pretty usual for horses that have learned to side pass to you. I need her to, there you go. There you go, good girl. And so for this, <clears throat> I really reward just when she gets in position of moving her, moving her butt towards the tail rather than even actually packing into it. There you go. Good job, good job. And again, she's really into, into doing this. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna work her longer than I would normally. Good girl. Oh, right there. No, no, not that way. She's very good at backing up. There it is. Oh, right there. Oh, oh, good job. And be very positive at this part. This is normal. Good girl. That horses won't, they won't wanna back into something. So make this super positive. So that with a couple of sessions, they're like, hay bale, we're gonna back up to it. And my quarter horse, Jackson, who learned to sit down on hay bales, if he will lean into stuff with his back and really lift his back up. There you go. See how she centered herself there? That's good, good. And I'm just using grain. Good job. So every time she, every little back up, um, I'm rewarding. So here, and again, for, I'm using the halter. She also knows, you know, the chest cue for backup. You can do this at Liberty. There you go, see how she leaned? <clears throat> and what you're gonna be looking at, okay? If I can get her to stand here, you're gonna be looking at this part lifting right through here. Right there, she lifted it and she's activating those muscles. And this is really fun. And again, you can do this in a stall or an arena or, or a hay bale, anything, nope, that they can push against. So it has to be solid. Back up. Get yourself in position, you know how to do it now. Move the hind end. Good. There you go. You gotta back into it. Nope, not quite ready. So again, I'm trying to be super positive so she knows where to go. Do like that. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. No, no, move away. There you go. And back. Too far, but that's okay. Because she doesn't know what I want. She is trying everything. <clears throat> There you go. And when she gets lined up, she moved off of it, but I clicked the instant her butt was lined up to it. So I'm just gonna try to push her. No, 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 I don't want you to go back, but I want your hip to move over. Just like that, good girl, good girl. And again, you can do this work at Liberty, but it's just a little more maneuvering to try to get them the right spot. There you go. And a wall is nicer because it's a bigger target. There you go, she's like, I'm gonna back into the edge. Now she's not centered, but she did back right into it. Good girl. And I wanna keep feeding her so when she's touching it, it's a good thing. So I can ask her to lean back, watch the back lift up if she leans back. So I'm not pulling on her. She can go forward. I just am asking her with very light pressure to lean back. Watch the back. I'm gonna ask for a little more. There, see how it lifted? 
Good. And she's a little fuzzy, so it's hard to see, but you can see her tuck her hip as she leans back. Good job. Back up. Back up. She doesn't quite get it, so she's looking around. There's somebody over there. There you go. There you go. She lifted the back really nice and tucked her butt. And this is great. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do this a bunch till she's really comfortable with it, either on a wall or on the hay bale. Um, and then we're going to try to be able to get her to do this without anything behind her. So, but this is where you start. You start with the wall, something solid. She's got to move that butt over a little bit. Come on, step over. I know. You can do it. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, stop. And she's like, she's like, I'll move, I'll dance. So probably if I were to do this a couple more times, she would start to really get it. But you can see because you go, hay bale is really big until you try to target it. There you go. Now she's backing toward it and I'll reward that. Because more than just teaching you guys what to look for, I want this to be, ah, 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 ah. no, no, no. There you go. Good girl. I want her to know that I want her to back up. And I've never done this. So for her, it's all brand new. Back up. Good, there she backed right, right up to it. That's good. Back. And for those using like a targeting clicker, back, no, 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 no. You can use a target to help her back up. That was very good. She repositioned nicely there. Good job. Okay, can you back? There you go. And there she's kind of slid up. On the bale, I want her to back like straight to it. Hang on. What I might do here is if she gives me a good one, we'll stop and we'll come back to it. There, look at her really engage her, her rump there. She's not square, but she really used her hind end, and that's really good for building muscle. Good. Okay, you can stop. <coughs> okay. All right, you can start whenever you're ready. Okay. Okay, so this is session two, asking her to back into the hay bale. We had a little break in between. She is getting full and bored, so I don't know how this session will go. Normally you'd give more time and I was doing lots of other stuff, so. So we're gonna, again, praise her if she backs up to it. You can already see. No, no, no. You're supposed to go and back. Again, I wanna praise anytime she gets into position. There you go, move your hind. There you go, good girl. Nice job. This might be a really short session if she decides she doesn't like the food or is done. And that's important to pay attention if your horse says they're done. Step over. Good. Back up. Good girl. So she got in position and she took a little step back. There you go. Good job. Back up. No, no, no. A few sessions of this and most horses will learn that it's okay to back up to stuff. But again, you have to remember that we don't usually ask horses to back into things. And so it's very new. Good. Back up. No, no, no. Good girl. And like I said, the treats I have, she doesn't like as much and she's getting full. So there, see how the back lifted? That was great. And so she's stepping back. Do you want one of these? She's stepping back but she's starting to lean as well as step back. No, step over. There you go. There you go. Step this way. Good. Back. Good. And so if the horse leans, now she's obviously not in position, so I have to reposition her, but I want her to, you know, to be like, this is a really positive place to be with your back toward it, you know, because we don't want her to hate this. We want her to like being over here. Okay. Good job. Back. I know. There you go. Move over. Good. Too much. <laughs> so little. There you go. And so as soon as she gets in position, I click and give a treat. And you can use a bucket of grain if you don't want a hand feed, because you want them to like 
you know, getting into position and leaning up against stuff. So I'm watching for her to lean back, watching her back. I'm not, there you go. I'm not really, what I really want is her to lean back. She doesn't need to move her feet. And that's, that's what I'm, no, 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 no. There you go. Oh, too far. There you go. And I'm not expecting it to be perfect today. I know, I know, I'm working. Yeah, good girl. I should just put this over here. I know you're getting bored. Back up. So there she leaned. She did move her feet a little bit, but she leaned. And so I clicked when I saw her back lift because that's what I'm really going for. I mean, I want her to back up. There you go. Good job. <laughs> She's like, oh, what if I get out of position? Come on. There you go. That's good. And she's, she's still learning this. Back up. Good. Oh, there you go. Back up. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. And short sessions are better. One to five minutes is good. There, see how she leaned there? And then she steps sideways. Cause again, she's not comfortable leaning up against it yet. Good job. Lean back. So again, I don't want her to step sideways necessarily. I want her to get reposition. There you go. Good. There. And she leaned back. Perfect. Perfect. A big handful. Good girl. And she doesn't really like those treats. So here you go. You like this better. There you go. Good girl. There she took a step back on her own. I'll take that right now. I don't want to have to pull on her to get this. So it's very light touch. There she tried. Wasn't a huge lean back. Um, that's all right. We want her to be happy at this pit place. So this is not where we do tons of work. Good girl. I don't see any fire ants, so. And there she leaned back. Good girl. And so even just a little bit, I'm gonna reward because I want her comfortable right there. Good girl. And that's probably her saying she's done. That's a good session. So we did two sessions and we'll stop there. Okay, so that was the backing up and the benefits of that. And it's kind of a long video. Those sessions should have honestly been shorter. Time crunch and wanting to get two sessions and it's very easy to always want to ask for more. But just keep in mind, those sessions should have been shorter. My fault. So next we're moving on to working with your horse on wormer. Now, this is a horse that's already been target trained, so I was teaching her to touch the warmer with her nose. Now, you can pair the warmer and call it classical conditioning and not do the target. Just when the warmer gets close to her, you pair it with some kind of food. Um, it can be anything. Again, I use just grain or a variety of things for her. It could be even hay if your horse is really hungry and you have a problem feeding him sugar. So, here this video is a little bit shorter. I'm sorry, she moves. I don't move. I think it's four minutes long. Okay, so this is if you're going to be working with your horse to take warmer, and you do this before you have to do it. So this is actually a used one, so it smells like warmer. I'm going to put it out here. She knows where the bag is. I'm going to click and reward for touching it. Now this does assume that you are using clicker training or target training with your horse, or are willing to use food. She smells like it's not. It's it. You can see it smells like. So again, she's investigating it, which I want to praise. Good job. No, it's not the better one. Here you go. Better treat. And so I have like three different kinds of food in here. Some she doesn't like as much. Some is really good. So when you do this, you, if your horse is calm, you might want to use a high value reinforcer. Good girl, she actually touched it with her nose. I'm going to give her one she likes. And I hold it out in front. She touched it. Good girl. And again, you do this in short sessions. You want to do this when you don't have to worm. Mm 
can touch it because I want to touch the side of her face. She's pretty calm with it, which is good. She doesn't really want to touch. She knows it's there, but I want her to, to touch this, not go for food. I know because it smells like warmer. So she showed interest in it. Good. You don't get to have that. There, she touched it with her nose. Good. There you go. Good job. Good. And again, we're going to keep this session short and positive and come back to it. There, she touched it again. I'm kind of wanting, now that she smelled it a few times and she's touched it, I want her to touch it. Good girl. And I took it away and put it there. Good girl. Okay. Go ahead and stop. All right, so this is session two. Good. And we're just teaching the horse kind of to target it. And you can also teach the target on the side. I'm just, she knows the targeting in front. Good girl, she touched it. So we're just gonna go with the target in front. girl and it's like I said it's a used warmer so she definitely smells it if she wasn't okay with like if she wasn't okay with the smell I would start out a couple feet away and you can do this in a protected contact if you need to but getting the horse used to it and touching it I'd want to be her to be able just to you know her like see how she moves away because she's like I don't want that near my face so so targeting it with the nose in front is easier than targeting the side because she knows that's where the wormer goes. So she's showing me, come on, we're not pawing is not it. She's like, I'm not gonna stick my, my face over there. You're just gonna worm me. So she's a good candidate while she's calm about it. She's also like, ah, uh, not interested. She's like, I'd rather eat. Here you go. She showed a little bit of interest in it, so I'll reward for that. There you go. <laughs> there, she really targeted it, so that's fine. Good job. And you can wait till they're done eating. Some horses are ready before they finish chewing to do the next. Like, I don't want my hand to be targeted. I want her to touch the the tube. Come here. She's like, no, this is not interesting enough and I don't want to do it. She touched it. Good. And we'll stop there because you can see that she, her interest was waning. Good girl. All right. There you guys got a chance to see a little bit of what you can do. You can do worming. You can also teach horses to be able to handle their eye, teach their eye to come to that. If you can Google, you know, uh, clicker training uh, eye care, and it'll show you how to get started. Uh, and you can train head down. You can do a lot with the clicker. Um, April says, I just put a halter on, grab the side of the nose band, and pull the side of the cheek out with my thumb. In straight, straight back squeeze, easy peasy real quick. Okay, April that is fine if you want to pull on the horse and put a halter on and you don't have a horse that's terrified of worming there are lots of horses that are not easy to worm and so if that works for you no worries you do not have to do this but if you want something to work on this is a great um horse maintenance kind of thing there's lots of things you can do to get your horse ready for the vet for when something happens and this is one of them next uh, is how to train your horse how to smile and this is just the first sessions but it's very fun very safe to teach uh, and it, it is it is a lot of fun to teach and she does a really good job showing a first session okay I don't know how she'll do with this but we'll try okay so if you're training your horse to smile you want treats that are longer so the longer they are the better so you don't get nipped here you go so first I do this and I get them to come up and try to reach with their nose there you go, just like that. Good job. So again, longer treats are better so you don't get nipped. 
I want her to reach with her nose, kind of like how they smile. Reach up. There, right there, good girl. And I'm just gonna give it to her. This is the very beginning of how you teach it. She's never learned this. There you go. And, and they can get bored if you make it too hard for them. So don't make it too hard, especially the first session. Just get them to reach for it and give them the treat. So they get the idea that reaching for it gets them the treat. But notice I have them reach for it, but then I feed down low. So I'll show you again. So I don't feed her up there because I don't want her to reach for it with her teeth. No, 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 no. Is that too close? Okay. There you go. So I want her to reach for it with her, no with her, her nose like that, and then I come feed down here. So I don't let her, I don't let her eat it out of my hand up here. Because what I want, ultimately, I want to be able to go smile and point and have her smile. And she's nowhere near that today. Reach for that. Because I want to be able to touch her here and have that be her, her physical cue, is just touching her, her nose, her nose, between her nostrils. Good girl, be her cue. And then, so eventually I point, like, yes, good girl. See, she's kind of doing it. She wasn't doing it on purpose. But I want to be able to point, and then, yes, good girl. And again, she wasn't doing that on purpose. She just did it because of the treat. But I'll give it to her. Like, I want to be like, yes, good job. She doesn't really like these treats very much today. She liked them just fine the other day. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, girl. Good girl. So my cue will be like, I point, and then if she doesn't do it right away, I can just like tick her between the nostrils because I'm gonna do that now. We'll go, she smiles, touch the nostrils, and then try to get her to, yes, yeah, like that. Good girl, here you go. She's like, nope, I don't want one of those. <laughs> I don't think she wants it. But, so hopefully you use a treat that your horse likes. Right now, she doesn't like it. Makes it very hard to train with clicker training, but that's how you start teaching the smile. So that is training the first sessions of training a horse to smile. So hopefully you find that fun and it's pretty safe. Like if, it, if they do it, it's hard to hurt somebody when they smile, which is a really good reason to do it. Uh, and last one, which I'm not thrilled with, but I'm going to show you, is I was working with Serenity on head down and I was using ground poles and she, this is a very first session, so I don't mind that she didn't do well, but it definitely shows her being spunky and not wanting to do it. So in this case, I didn't use a clicker. I simply, when she started to put her head down, I just did stop and praise with the occasional treat. So it's not clicker training and I'm not marking it. I'm just stopping and praising. So here you go. It's a little bit long, but bear in mind, she, it's a good example of just working with a horse. So if you're going to lunge, now I have, a, I have a rope halter, which you don't need. You can use a regular halter and you can use a longer line. This is what I have with me. So unfortunately you see this, but if we're going to, even if you just do traditional lunging, so I'm going to use some clicker, but I'm going to actually, I'm going to not use a clicker for this. I'll put my clicker away. I may have a couple treats, but I won't use a clicker. I'll try not to. So if you have regular lunging, no, I didn't ask you to go that way. Well, you can go this way. Uh, I don't care which direction you start with. Just got to get her going forward and we're looking for head down. I'm just keeping her going. Yes, good girl. And if your horse is really high headed, you can reward just a little bit of head down. Yes. Okay, good. Right there. Oh, uh, so there she put her head down. So I immediately was like, okay, good. And my ropes went down. My body was just like, oh. if you have a whip, make sure you put your whip down. Good girl. And I'm gonna give her a cookie when she does really well. And since we're not doing clicker training, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just stop and, and if she wants to eat, I don't care because there's food here. Because I'm looking to stop when she ooh, puts her head down. Ooh. I don't flick the whip, I just stand. And again, your horse probably needs to be trained for that. That was nice. But I'm looking for head down. And if you're not using a clicker, which it goes faster, but if you're not, you just stop and rest. You can pet them if they come up. I didn't make her stay out on the circle. I just wanted to know she did the right thing. And that usually involves just stop and praise. Or in this case, she can eat the grass. 
All right, so ask her to walk out. Do this at the walk. No jerking on the rope. Good, head down. I'm just at the walk. Got to keep your head down. You know how to do this? Good. See how she kept her head down a little bit? And it's, it's important. So if your horse is really high-headed and they like keep it level for a little bit, stop and praise for that. If your horse, but the goal is to get it all the way down to the ground while the horse is moving forward at the walk and the trot and then ultimately the canter. That's the goal. And I'm not using a lot of food here unless she does really well. There's head down. Good. 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 She wanted to eat, but I, I so just kept her going. You notice I didn't flick the lead rope. This hand. All right. Good girl. Oh, that's fine. Good job. I like the head down. I don't mind if it involves eating. Um, if you have an arena, obviously this isn't going to be an issue. They're going to be head up and not worried about food. Good job. That's good. If they keep eating, just ask for more forward energy. So for example, if we walk and she wants to stop more forward and the head goes up, not she doesn't eat, you know, yes, good girl. Ooh, good job. Now she put the head down. So I'll actually I'll come up to her in front and give her a treat. Good girl and let her stand. And that's their reward for putting the head down is rest. Good job. And for your horses that want to rush, you may have to train the walk first. Like, like if, if you're looking for something to do, get them good at lunging. And I just mean basics, walk, trot, whoa, and head down. And we're going to use the poles in just a minute. So we're going to ask for a faster speed. I know she's not used to the, so I'm looking for head down to the faster speed to maintain with the forward and head down. I don't want her to stick her head up. I know it's harder. You're not used to work. Good. So that was bad timing on my part, but she did put her head down. And so we're stopping for that. And it's better to stop and praise more often and just tell the horse they did a good job when they were trying than to just keep them going. <clears throat> we don't do a lot of lunging like this. It's more Liberty. So she's a little bit like, what are we doing? We're going to go this way? Okay. Nice head down. Put that head back down. Yes. Oh, good girl. And we've done this before. She knows how to do the head down. So she, you can see that it's coming through even at the forward. I'd expect horses that have never done this to put their head down for like a stride and then it pops back up. But you still want to try to have your timing so you stop and praise. And if you're using a clicker, just click that instant that head goes down. Good girl. Let's do it again. Good head down. Oh, very nice. Good girl. Good girl. That was good. Good job. And she kept it down for almost a full half circle there. Good. So now we're going to add poles. Now, what, let's say your horse is walking or trotting, but is not putting their head down. So the best thing to do is put some poles out. We have PVC. You can use logs. You can use fence posts. And we're going to start at the walk. We'll see how she does. Where they just walk over them. And the instant the head goes down, you can reward. Right there. There. See how her head's going down? Ooh. Good girl. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm letting her eat. It's my choice. I don't mind. She's on her break because I'm letting her rest. She doesn't have to stand perfectly at attention. I want her to go, oh, yeah, I'm relaxed. Okay. So we walk around. go over the pole. There's the head down. Oh, good girl. She, she gets it. She's like, I got it. I stop and I eat. She's good with it, but she's putting her head down as she's stepping over. Now, what the harder thing is going to be now the trot. So she's got head down and, she, and she's done this, but this is how you would do it. Good. Good.
I want her to put her head down at the trot. So I have to keep her going, go around again. So I didn't really, there it goes down, but I want her to put her head down as she goes over the poles. And she's never done this before. That was lower, ooh, that was better. So there she kept her head kind of level as opposed to up when she went over those poles. So we're gonna reward for that. And she is a trotty horse by nature. When you have a pacey horse, that's where it really benefits them. So she's not really changing how she moves because she's trotty. But when you have a pacey horse, you often, if they put their head down, they'll start to either trot or gate over the poles and you wanna praise that. Good job, good girl. All right, keep going, keep going to trot, good. So went the head down right away. There, look at it. So there it's up a little. Good girl, but she's gonna learn. And I might have, the distance might not be ideal for her stride. No, no. Yeah, I know, shows bad training, huh? Good girl, now I could have let go. It's not like she can go anywhere. Good girl. And that's the benefit of using a flat halter versus a rope halter is uh, it, it won't hurt them as much because I wasn't trying to hurt her at all. Good girl, good girl. And again, like I said, good girl. She's like, what, I got the head down. She doesn't know how to do it over. There you go. So C, good. No. Thank you. And longer lead lines I mean you can be out of the way of if she does that. Yes, good try. This is a short lead line because I forgot to bring mine. Yes, there she dropped it a little bit. So I'm going to stop and praise. And again, notice I don't flick the lead rope. Good girl. It's like, that's a lot of work. Yeah, good girl. And she needed a break too, to think about it. I'm going to move them a little bit closer together. Just to see if it makes, it helps her have a good stride over it. And you can definitely adjust this for your horse based on how your horse moves. All right, good girl, I know. I wanna see a little bit better try before I give you a treat. So let's go, we'll go the same direction again. Again, I will generally stay with the same direction until I make progress. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Not a really nice, she does a better trot. I know, I know, you feel it today, frisky. The weather changed and she's not used to this work. So, I mean, you can even see that even a very willing horse will get frustrated. So you wanna, easy. Good girl, head down. Good, that was a little better. So even a willing horse, and she's super willing, will get a little frustrated with this, as you can see. Ah, <sighs> girl. And so shorter sessions better. So I'm gonna stop there. Like we didn't see a huge, huge progress with you know the trot poles, but it is better to stop and not get your horse frustrated. Good girl. Yes. Yes. She's like, why are we doing that? So better to stop early. Good girl. Good girl. She's like, oh, this work. What I should come back and do is do it more regularly. And just doing that, you know, your horse is getting exercise, having to lift their legs up. If you have a pacey horse, definitely do poles, even though we didn't show a great example today. And that's all we have it for today. So if anybody has any questions, um, comment now, uh, or and I'll reply to them in the live video or reply to them later. 
So those are just a few things. I'm hoping to go back and film part two, and I hope you guys have some great ideas that I can go ahead and try with her that you want to see. These were some suggestions like um, working on the warmer, and then I did the smiles because it's fun. Your goal this winter is to have that better relationship, which means stopping, keeping sessions short, things like that and spending the time to perfect some of these things. And it could be things you already work on. And I'll be coming up with more ideas for you guys to do. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you guys get warm soon. It's supposed to be cold here in Texas very soon. Uh, but I hope you have a good week and weekend and it warms up and you get a chance to ride. You got this.